Hey guys, welcome back to Campbell Workshop. We are celebrating our first year on YouTube. It has been a crazy year. We are very grateful to have your support. This week is our Painter's Flower series and we are going to refer to one of the most famous artists on earth, Leonardo da Vinci. And today we are going to work with his botanic drawing. Before we start, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button below so you won't miss any of our new tutorials. First of all, we need to dye our papers. We will be working with some drawing paper, watercolour paper and crepe paper. In order to give the antique feel to the paper, we need to dye them in brown. Tea is the best dye for this project. Brew your tea with a couple of tea bags. Try not to add too much water. You might end up with a lighter colour. Pour the tea to a shallow tray or dish. Add your papers to the tea and let it soak for a while. Flip it so you can get on both sides. The crepe paper will expand a lot. If you do not have a shallow container, we can always use the tapping method. Tap the tea bag directly onto the paper. After all the paper are soaked with tea, we place them onto a baking tray with a lining. You can also add some grinded coffee to the paper. It will give the paper some pattern and a darker tone. Bake for at least 5 minutes. After 5 minutes of baking, they will be dried and you can see the coffee pattern. If you prefer texture paper, you should try watercolour paper. Otherwise, you can use any found drawing paper that is heavier than 200 grams. If you want to have a darker paper, you can also bake it slightly longer. The colour will also change according to the baking time. Mark the petals out with a scalpel onto the paper. You can also mark it out with a pencil and cut them out with a pair of scissors. Trim six petals out and colour the sides with a dark brown marker pen. Cut a straight line in the middle and shape the petals with some yuhu glue. Cross the petals leg to one side, curl in the middle and the top. One petal is done. Cut a piece of dyed crepe paper in 1.5 times 2.5 cm and cut the tip into small fringes. Take a piece of 10 cm 22 gauge wire, a piece of 1.5 times 1 cm dyed regular paper. Cut the tip into tiny triangles. Curl the tips. Wrap the crepe paper to the wire with some yuhu glue. Wrap around the flower centre to estimate the length and shape the paper. Add a bit of yuhu glue and attach to the flower centre. Curl the edges. It should look like this. Bend the bottom tips of the petals and attach them to the flower centre. 
Balance three petals first, then add another three. Hold it together for a short while. It should look like this. Cut a strip of crepe paper. Wrap around the flower bottom and the first 5cm of the stem. Now we are going to cut some leaves for the stem. Cut the paper free handed into very slim long leaves. Gather a few leaves together and colour the edges with a brown marker. Cut another strip of grey paper and wrap the long leaves to the stem. One flower is done. We will need around 10 flowers for this collection. Then we move on to the bush that this flower grows with. Cut some pointy straight leaves. Make sure they are all linked together. In order to match with the style of the collection, we need to colour all the sides of the long leaves with a marker. It is a relatively long process, Make sure you have something to watch as entertainment at the same time. Second way, if you are good at cutting with cutter, you can also cut the paper into straight lines and trim the tips afterward but you will still need to colour the edges. Now we can put our flowers into small bundles and wrap them together with some great paper. Wrap these three bundles all together. Shape the flowers into a more natural look. You can stop here if you only like the flowers. Next, the bush. Curl the leaves with your fingers to get a lovely curve. Cut the leaves into smaller segments and layer them on top of each other. Longest and the darkest at the bottom. Use a paper clip to hold them together for drying. Do the same to the top layer, which is the shortest. You can also shape the leaves as you go.
Now we need to thicken the stem of the flower so the leaves will match with it. Then we can attach the first layer to the branch. Keep going around and add some leaves to the visible gaps. At the bottom longer layers using the same principle. It should look like this. Wrap around the bottom stem to secure the bush by holding them together. Last step, curling the leaves with a pencil so the top and the bottom layer merge together and create a sense of movement. And we are done. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you like it. If you like it, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. It will really help our channel to grow. Stay tuned for our weekly tutorials. To thank all of you, this digital template will be available on our Etsy store for £1 only. So check it out. See you guys next week.